In this video, we are going to be doing upscaling with Comfy UI and creating really, really large images. We're gonna have some fun with this because we're actually gonna create our own workflows today. Um, and we're just gonna have fun with it. So if you love our tutorials, make sure to click that thumbs up, click the subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of our tutorials. So we're gonna jump right into it today. We need just a couple of things for this video. What we're gonna do is we're gonna be downloading a upscale model and we're actually gonna grab a XL model from Civit. I know I said I don't use them that often, um, but in this case, we're gonna use this one today because it's made to work without the refiner and then using a LoRa's. So it's a little bit more compact of a workflow. So we're gonna do that just to make sure you guys see exactly what's happening. It's also a really, really good model. Um, I've been very, very impressed with it. Uh, the model's name is New Dawn XL. So if you go over to Civit and download it, I'll have the links down below in the description as always for everything we do today. But you can download that at 6.46 gigs, so it is a big file, and we can have that model ready to go. The other model we're gonna need is an upscale model. And in this case, we're over at Upscale Wiki, and we're gonna use 4X Ultra Sharp. This is my favorite upscaler of all time. So go ahead and download that and we'll get right to installing it into Comfy UI. Okay, here we are on my stable diffusion hard drive and you can see that I have the two files already here. So we have New Dawn and 4X Ultra. Now you guys, if you've been following my tutorials, already know how to put a checkpoint into the checkpoint folder. So we're gonna move just the 4X Ultra Sharp and we're gonna go into the Comfy UI, Comfy UI, models and upscale models and you can see i already have it here if you are running comfy ui when you make these changes you can refresh the screen and if you refresh the screen you're going to be able to see any of the changes that you made as far as the new models you've put in if you're adding custom nodes or something like that you do have to restart comfy ui but in this case we don't have to okay so what we're going to do is we're going to start with our low checkpoint we're going to switch to new dawn xl this is an xl so we need to be a lane image of 1024 by 1024 there we go and then we need an image that we're going to generate and i'm actually going to use a prompt from their examples this robot now this is kind of a neat idea to go and get ideas of how to prompt or if somebody style you like, how to get an idea of how they're prompting. You can notice we have the sampler here. This is the sampler and the scheduler. If we want to change it to DPM2++ crafts, we could do that. We're not gonna do that in this case because they're running 100 steps. We're only gonna run 20. We might as well run it on Euler in that case. But if you're running higher steps and you need to change it, DPM2++ or DPM2++2M is right here and Karas is the scheduler. We're just gonna leave it as you learn normal for now. 20 steps is more than fine. We have our size here, and we're gonna go ahead and we're going to generate our image. Just make sure everything's working before we go and change and add some more nodes. Okay, there we go. We have our test image looking snazzy. Perfect, I love it. Okay, so now we need an upscaler because let's say right now this is not big enough because right now we're looking at a 1024 by 1024. So let's say you post this on social media, a friend comes to you, a family member comes to you, or somebody comes to you and says, can you print me off a poster of that? Well, not really, this is too small an image. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna upscale, but we're gonna do it within our workflow here. I'll show you how to upscale an image after the fact, after this, because we can create our own workflow to have our own upscaler. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start here. We're gonna just type upscale, image upscale with model. And you'll notice that we need a upscale model. So what we can do is drag out, and this is really neat with Comfy UI. It knows what can work with this. So we need the upscale model loader. There we go. If yours says null, just click here and choose 4X ultra sharp. Now we need the image to come from the VAE decode because what it's gonna do is it's gonna generate the image. The VAE decode is gonna create the final image and then we want that final image to be upscaled and output to the saved. So there we go, we have our new workflow. And if we hit 
cue prompt again. It's going to go ahead and create that prompt. Now, if we look here, you'll see that we have some information here. We have how long for this image to finish rendering, how long it's taken, how many steps are remaining. And then it's gone into the upscaler here. And we can see that it doesn't take very long to upscale at all. And there we go. Now we have a new image. So if we go ahead and open this image and zoom in, you can see we have a much larger image. We haven't lost any detail because of the way the upscaler works. The way the upscaler works is it breaks this image into little tiles. In this case, it would be about 36 little tiles and it upscales those tiles just a little bit. When you upscale only a little bit, you don't lose any quality or sharpness. You don't create artifacts. So what you're doing is breaking this up into a bunch of little images, upscaling them a tiny bit, and then bringing them all back together and stitching them all back together to create the final image. And because of that, we can run that scaler multiple times. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna generate a image based off their settings, which was 100 steps. So we're gonna get a very detailed image and you'll see why we need this in a minute. And we're gonna do a CFG scale of seven and DPM two plus plus and harass. And there we go. We have exactly how theirs was set. So this is gonna give us a very, very large image. I'm gonna remove the upscaler now because what we're gonna do is we're going to upscale after the fact. And I'm just gonna cue that prompt. And you can see, because we're doing 100 steps, you can see that the total image generation is gonna be about a minute. It was 50 seconds-ish. Um, so I will come back when that completes. Okay, our image is completed. Let's take a look. Very cool. This one's gonna upscale really well. Now, you'll notice that there's a lot more detail. Uh, you can even tell just on this smaller image, but you can see we're only running 1024 by 1024. So let's say you had shared this one out and you need to upscale it after the fact. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna create an upscale workflow. So we're gonna clear our entire workflow. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a image loader. So load image, there we go. Then we're gonna have our upscale. Perfect. So image to image, we don't need to use the mask. Image out to a save image. There we go. And then we need to choose the image that we want to upscale. We're going to take that one that we created earlier, which is this one right here. Now we need our upscale model. So upscale model, there we go. 4X ultra sharp. Now, if I run the queue, it's going to upscale the image I loaded. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit Q. And you can see how fast the initial upscale works on a 1024 by 1024. It's just creating those 36 little blocks and scaling them up. And here's our output that we can take a look at. And you can see it has upscaled it a lot. So our new image size is 4096 by 4096. And that should be pretty good for print. So let's say you need to go even bigger. Not sure why you'd want to, but let's say you want to. You can actually stack another scaler in here. So what we do is we can create another upscaler. There we go. We're going to image in upscale model to the upscale model and the image to the save. And now I'm gonna run this. This is gonna look like it's gonna mess up, but I'll have to come back to you when it's done because what it's gonna do is it's going to 4X the image and then it's gonna 4X that image. We're gonna get a massive file that should be around 250, 260 megabytes in size. And we'll click Q and I'll be back. Okay, we're back. It's still running through the upscaler, but I had a question for you guys. I can actually save these workflows and share them with you if you wish. I just need to find a place to host them for you. But if you would like the workflows from the videos that I do, let me know in the comments down below. And that way I can start saving 
uh, any of the workflows and that way you can just load them if you wanted to follow along and learn uh, that that would probably be the better way of doing it i know some people might just want the end result so let me know in the comments down below okay our scaler is almost completed now this is still going to take a while because it needs to save this file i'll be back when it's saved okay and we're back you will notice that i am not in the browser anymore and this is because this image has gone too large for it to load within the browser it is absolutely massive this is a view at about six percent of the total image scale so once again what we've done is we have scaled up not only 4x but then once that 4x was complete we 4x'd it again so it's a factor of two and check this out if i go if i go one to one we can come right in we can find the sharp points in the image and we can see all the detail down to these tiny little eyelashes absolutely insane and that would give you a monstrous image you can see here if i go to the properties 304 megabytes total in size and a resolution of 16 384 by 16 384 with a bit depth of 24 this is a monster of a file so it shows you if you do a couple upscales it can get pretty wild pretty fast now we could use a different model if we only needed a little bit more of an upscale from the original point of upscale but i thought it'd be fun to show you that we can keep stacking these over and over and over again until the computer gives up uh, if i added a third one it would definitely give up at that point uh, my graphics card wouldn't be able to handle it i know that for sure uh, maybe if you had 12 gigs of ram it might push it even further but we are talking ridiculous size files that you would never need the size of so if we take a look at it overall just a standard upscaler it's right there uh, we can load any image that we want uh, so we know this one's not a uh, large image we can go ahead we can say hey make this a larger image it's going to run through the upscale process that was a 512 by 512 i can tell by the speed uh, we can go ahead and open that image and you can see it has upscaled it four times from 512 um absolutely incredible it's it's a great way to upscale and even if you're just a photographer and you're looking to upscale this is a great way to have a, a ai powered upscaler anyways that's it for the upscaling video i hope this helps you guys see how you can add upscaling directly within your workflow or upscale something after once again if you want me to save these workflows as we start creating our own i can do that for you and then you're going to be able to download it just let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions once again put them down below and if you liked this video hit that thumbs up subscribe so you don't miss any more of our tutorials and i'll see you guys next time